Welcome back. Uh, so we left off talking about the constitutive equations. And we introduced this new term called the electric displacement. And you know, this is a new term. It has to do with you know all the charge on the electrodes, and it, and it actually interacts in a very interesting way, and it's sometimes a little bit of a vague concept. So I want to uh, sort of flush it out and, and and give some examples with a practical you know problem, how exactly you know we can understand this quantity. So I mentioned that the dielectric displacement uh, is equal to the what was the polarization and the piezoelectric effect uh, due to uh, the application of a stress generating a charge. So when we for example have a material such as this and we apply a stress to it and let's say it has a polarization a spontaneous polarization that way or a dipole moment going that way and we apply a stress to it what happens? We say what? We say that the uh, electric field of the material. How do we determine the electric field? I mentioned we had this, this equation. The electric field of the material is equal to the uh, permittivity. I'm just going to permittivity, absolute permittivity. Uh, this equals that. Or, sorry, this is equals this. Uh, so this is uh, that, that term lumped there. Uh, so we get the polarization equal to this. And you mentioned, in this case, the polarization was actually opposite to the electric field. Or, sorry, it wasn't equal to that. Uh, we have no applied electric field. We're having a stress, right? The polarization is equal to the stress because we're not applying an electric field. See, this electric field here is applied. Even though we're, we're going to generate an electric field in the end, we're not applying one. We're not holding one with external conditions, and this is very important, and I'll be describing this with regards to an actuator, I mean a dielectric material soon, in the next uh, portion. So the polarization is equal to the d constant times x, but polarization can also be written as um, the electric field the uh, permittivity times the electric field. In this case, when, we, when we're here, we generate kind of an opposite electric field. Here, so we can write negative, because we know the electric field is going to be opposite. So essentially, uh, we can fill in this equation, and we understand that the electric field is opposite to the stress which we're putting on the material. So we end up with this equation. And this is, again, you know, you pull the material, uh, the negative dis charges are displaced downward, the positive charges are displaced upward. And so we get positive charge here, negative charge here, which creates an electric field opposite. So as we're going to see, that this equation right here helps describe uh, this opposite field. So the dielectric displacement we have here. And notice that there are no other outside leads to the material, so no charges are going to be added. No charges are coming into the material that weren't there before. And there's no charge imbalance in the material. The charges are balanced. They just moved around. Okay, so if we insert this equation into here, we can write the D again. D equals E, O, E, R, and, and E, but instead of writing E, we're going to insert this in there. Negative D, X, over epsilon, these cancel, plus D, X. D equals zero. What does D equals zero tell us? No external 
charges added. So while polarization can exist when the material is not under a external field, meaning you're not hooking up any leads to the to the electrodes on the top and bottom, so you're not going to get any like charges flowing from the power source into the into the material or anything like that. Um, we have no extra charges coming in. So the charges that were appearing on the surface were originally charges with which were in the material itself. So because of this, we have a zero dielectric displacement. So there's no extra charges. But we have a polarization, which doesn't have to do with extra charges. It just has to do with charges and electric field uh, from the external perspective. At this point, at this moment, depending on how we define these uh, parameters. So again, we just talked about dielectric displacement, and I want to go into, uh, you know, polarization. Let's describe it again because I think it's useful to understand. Uh, when we have a material for a dielectric material, pure dielectric. meaning not piezoelectric the D is approximately equal to P because remember P equals um, a permittivity times electric field and I will call permittivity P because this is a polarization uh, there's all these other terms like this and you, you'll find these on Wikipedia uh, to describe it better to you uh, but basically the dielectric displacement equals the polar, polar, polarization and we can't get any and stress and uh, and p, p is not uh, a function of stress in these these situations with those type of materials so we have to hook up an electric field in order to get it to do something so for example we hook up a high potential here and a low potential here we're gonna have plus charges here therefore and we're gonna have minus here Therefore, if we have a originally, if we had a dipole looking like this, this is given a you know an example. Now, in the material, the dipole is going to look like that. If we suddenly you know cut the wires, it's going to stay the same. If we cut the wires. This dipole is going to keep staying like this oriented and these charges aren't going to leave because they're now stored. It's kind of like filling up a hole, filling up a tube with water and then pinching the bottom. <laughs> Something like that and holding it so the water doesn't flow out. So basically the by cutting these wires you're kind of pinching the ends of the ends of the wires that the, now the charge can't flow anywhere. So this, my friends, this has a this has a dielectric displacement. Because those charges weren't originally here. They were actually put there from the outside. So this is my understanding of dielectric displacement versus regular polarization. In this case, it's equal to the it's equal to the polarization. But when we are just pushing on the material, where is the charge coming from? The charge is not coming from anywhere. There's no charge here. So because there's no charge coming from the outside, uh, the you know, charges is moving around. Uh, we don't have a dielectric displacement, and this is an important case when the material is like this, no leads we have constant. D, meaning D equals zero. This is a boundary condition. Very important to understand. Thank you for watching.